how rare this was and how undetectable. You know, this is found in autopsies. It's not found, you know, in the situation like we were in. New tonight, a Valley teenager suddenly collapses during basketball practice after going into cardiac arrest. The rare heart condition usually goes undiagnosed until it's too late. Fortunately, he survived thanks to the quick thinking of his teammates and the staff from Phoenix Children's Hospital. Now he is sharing his story of survival exclusively with Team 12's Michael Doudna. Like for so many teams, sports means the world to Jason. I mean, sports have lived in my life. From track and rock climbing to lacrosse and basketball, he did it all until September 16th. You say your goodbyes, um, not knowing that in six hours we were going to get an urgent phone call. See, suddenly that day at basketball practice, Jason's heart stopped. Teammates and teachers rushed in to help performing CPR, using a defibrillator to restart his heart. Jason's parents would rush to the hospital to find their son unresponsive. You, you know, you're not sure what condition you're going to see your son in again. That, that, was, that was extremely challenging as a father. But doctors at Phoenix Children's Hospital say the quick actions of those at the school got him the emergency care he needed. They saved his life, uh, no questions. Dr. Wayne Franklin at Phoenix Children's Hospital helped care for Jason as doctors try to figure out what caused this 16-year-old to suddenly collapse. It actually is easy to miss because sometimes it doesn't cause symptoms. What the doctors found was an issue with his coronary artery. So in layman's terms, that means one of the blood vessels that supplies his heart comes off the wrong place and can cause a heart attack. So just days later, the 16 year old would have open heart surgery. I'm just, I'm so lucky to be alive. Just four months later, Jason celebrated his 17th birthday. His life now almost back to normal. Our son's alive and that's, that's to be celebrated. And it was all made possible thanks to the efforts of everyone, from his teammates to teachers to his doctors. It, w Jason wouldn't be here today without, without those things I and mean, those people that acted courageously that day. Yeah, guys, in the effort of full transparency, Dr. Franklin is married to Today in AZ anchor Rachel McNeil. Also for Jason, well, doctors are hoping to clear him for full athletic activity in the next several months. We're in Phoenix. Michael Doudna, 12 News.